was waiting for that comment. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I will be reacting to Outer Banks Season 2, Episode 2 and I am so, 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 so excited. The first episode was such a great way to start us off for the season and it's bringing all the summer vibes which I am entirely missing right now when it is like very, very cold where I am, rugged up in a jumper and tracksuit pants, um, so I'm missing the summer vibes and this show is definitely warming me up. So. Um, without further ado, let's get into the episode. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, let's do it. Woo! Oh! Yes! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She protect- yes, yes, yes. Oh! I'm Val. I'm house-sitting for the Camerons. You live here? No, I'm house-sitting. I- Neighbors. Oh. Oh. They're like Bonnie and Clyde, baby. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Speed up. Ooh. Yes. Oh my god, I love how they just work. I thought they were gone by the end. I remember saying the Alinda last episode, they're dead. It's done. It's all done. It's over. The secret's out. But no. Why did I say that? Oh my gosh, of course they were going to get out. Fight to me. We Whoa. Sure we're fine. No, we're not fine. You lost the only money we had, mister. Of those three, probably the little sister's probably the biggest loss. Your brother's a murderer. Your dad's a crazy cook who's stealing all your money. <laughs> I feel like that could be another TikTok meme. I'm calling the shots now. And to start, I'm driving. Woo! Look who's boss. I can't drive sick. Cut it. Yeah, JJ. Nothing happened, Gavin. I got you the money. I just... Now remember, this is the witness. This is the person who could take Ward and Rafe down. Gun, go. Now get the gun. Give me the gun. Oh, I don't like this. What's going on? Get every moment, hope. <gasps> oh no! Quick try. You realize that's the second time he's had a scuffle with someone important in this show, and it hit their head. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Well, you Gavin. killed him now. Oh, the gun's washing away. Oh. The fact that now they've been seen, it means he knows that there's witnesses, which means he's coming after them. Why can't they just look after themselves? I hope that camera is... No! 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 Oh, they had him for life! Oh. See, that's the problem with some of this old tech. It just breaks. What the frick just happened? Oh, God, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. What, what were they fighting over? Uh, Who else am I supposed to call? Why don't you call the police house? Uh, don't don't tell me. Shut up. Hello? Oh my gosh, I feel like my heart is just like going Everything has happened in this 10 minutes of this first part of this episode. Like, they had everything and they've just lost everything in 20 seconds. 
Like, I love Key, but I feel like she's made so many silly mistakes in this season so far that it, it's affecting John B. And I know she doesn't mean to. She's trying to be fast and she's trying to express herself, but it's not helping right now. I love her, but literally now they had evidence and they've lost the evidence. Like, all that hard work and that effort and that danger that they put themselves in, they've just lost it. I hope they can find something else. Ugh. You're lucky I'm not on the phone with the cops, right? I'm not worried about that. Because you saw what was in that safe, did you not? Yeah, I did. And it was exactly what we told you it was going to be. You have a boat that can get us away. You know people and the island. And I can find out exactly when that boat is moving. <sighs> and I stole my boat. I don't owe you shit. But I'll give you ten. Ten million apiece. What would you Girl, taking charge. Ten million a piece. Ten million dollars. We're just throwing money away. Yeah, show it to you because I stepped on JJ's hand and then he kicked Pope and then Pope dropped the camera. Piece of shit. Officer, this bro. is a telephone. We needed to get one. Really astounding, like kids right now. Like they've they're doing like high adult intense danger stuff. But when you just hear them say that, it really sounds kid-like and that's really upsetting because they are far from babyish. What do you expect me to do with this? Right, you drag me out here in the middle of the night for a whole lot of nothing no, except, not, for, some, no, not except nothing. for some crazy story. I them here and tried to pay them off but it wasn't enough and they suddenly shot them exactly. with the murder weapon. Okay, now they're sounding a bit more... How do you know that? We lied. I know it sounds crazy. I know. Alright, there's nothing up there. Alright, false alarm. Let's all go home. No, no, please, no. The drain. All that hope that I was talking about the, in, the, the, in the last episode that has just evaporated right now. Like they have to go from scratch. But I'm saying, go for the drain and find the gun. No, okay, he did take the body and did clean it up. I got it now. Who's... Whose body is this? It's okay. Right. I gave him the gun. The gun that you used. And I told him to throw it out the window. Over the ocean on his way to the Bahamas. What a way to kind of get Rafe back on side once he was flipping out. Calling him a psychopath, which I did call him last episode. I wasn't going to jail for you. Now we can please. No, but the others had a lead on him, right? They had still night time. Who is this? Hi, it's me. Me who? <laughs> it's me, you dumb. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, I need you to take this on the okay? Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Just totally normalizing, her sister just faked her death or is, was, no, it was suspected to have died and she's like, yeah, yeah, totally, totally. We just, we just keep it on the download. Totally. The bankers, it's really urgent. Oh, you said something about vault services and transport? What you here for then? Come over here and rub all that shit in my face? Oh, I'm here to hook you up. You wanna make some money? What type of stupid ass question is that? I knew she was lurking. Someone jumps for him, and I thought it was respect, but now I realize that's fear. Hmm. He wasn't like anyone I had ever met because he wasn't scared of my dad. This is for him, and Sheriff Pete, and you and me. He now is some kind of distraction, a detour. I can up, I can up with that. Okay, okay, I know in the last episode I didn't really vibe with these people, but I think they've been, they're gonna get paid and, you know, as long as they don't double cross them and take all the gold for themselves, then I'm good with them. What about you? How's your hookup with Captain T? 
on the left, Granny Guy. Stay down on the street. I go on deck, I've been with him ever since. It's not the best of times, but gotta do what I gotta do, right? He's a Ramco. Anything that's in his way, run it over. Always stay two steps ahead of him. People who use plastic should be shot. Okay, personally, I love plastic. Use it every day. Love this stuff. Okay, well, hopefully you recycle it and don't start flushing in the ocean. Uh, mm -hmm. You want me to leave you two alone, or what's going on? <laughs> Waiting for that comment. <laughs> There's this worm that you get when you're down there. It gets into your blood and then has to come out of your pecker. So uh, that would be a hard pass for me. Yeah, it's gonna be a no for me. No, I get it. I get it. Yes. We'll haul it back. Very helpful. Thank you. Jake, Jake. So she has to go all the way to the end. See you vibing on kid, okay? Give me the details, man. Are we talking first base, second base, third base? We're not even in the same ballpark. What do you mean by that? It's like we're not playing the same. Uh, JJ and his like determination to find out about everything that's going on with Pope and Key is such a funny thing. The question is, is he jealous? Like, does he like Key and he doesn't know how to show it and he senses that his friend is with like kind of vibing with her so that he wants to like figure it all out before he can figure his stuff out. I don't know, but I just, I just love JJ. Ugh. Ugh. No! Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my god. Oh no, please, no, please. No, please, no. Please, no, please. Psycho. Alright, then. Alright, then. Tough guy. Psycho. Psycho. You guys don't leave for life. Okay, just get out of there. Find the gun and get out. When JJ has hope, he just fills the room with so much joy and every scene with him feeling so hopeful is beautiful. Like those eyes in his dene demeanor, demeanor. <sighs> they have the gun. They have, yes, they can't get what Ray Ward did to Ga uh, Gavin, but they can get Rave, unless it's water damaged. <sighs> Should go with me. Okay. Something I noticed in this episode. Obviously, they have some circumstances that have brought this these this development on. But if you think about last season, Water had no care for Rafe. Like he treated him like crap. He cut him off. All of that. And yes, the only reason why he's protecting his son is because he did kill someone. And now, anytime who anyone like talks trash about Rafe, he snaps. And yes, that's his fatherly instincts just kicking in, but it's interesting to see that these events have technically brought them closer and with Ray uh, with Ward kind of trusting him to come with to him come with him to the Bahamas, like that's a big storyline development there. Even though I don't really like like the fact that the, the reason they are closer together is through murder and all that, 
but it's an interesting dynamic to witness on screen. All day, every day. You do, don't you? See, he's saying that now. Oh! 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 There's you know, the telling me this is the firearm rape camp. He's, he's, he's not dead. in his damn home does not mean he was a victim of a homicide. Oh, this is you got to be fair. Oh, I'm sorry, did I hurt his feelings? Shut up! <clears throat> I wish that they didn't give him the gun. Even though it's the only thing that can get John B. Pro proven in so Her name is still on the door and you're disrespecting her office. Don't you dare call Ward. Oh. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh yeah. Is that real? So that's the realest thing there is. You didn't find shit. He didn't find shit. This is the most idiotic statement you've ever said. I found the royal merchant gold. No, you didn't. Blah. You didn't find anything. You stole it. Seriously, John B found it. J JJ found it. Pope found it. Key found it. You stole it. Sorry, Sarah Cameron found it. You stole it. You stole it. Ugh. So this has been yeah. half a billion. Wait, wait, they always said 400 million. But I guess, I guess now that time, like being many, many years, like 200 years later, it could have, the value's gone up, so now it's 500 million? Well, okay. Okay. I'm gonna be really hating myself for this statement, but. We're not meant to like Rafe because he's the psycho and he's the villain of the story, always part of with Ward, but you can't deny that he looks really good. Like this whole outfit now, today, it's really working for him. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> just, just put it out there. You're basically praising him for killing someone. You're praising him for killing someone. Like I said, their development of their father-son relationship has taken a great stride this season, but you have to see that all these things have brought them together are lies, murder, and deceit. Like, it's not even anything respectful, and he's being praised right now for killing someone because you protected the family. How toxic does that make it? How toxic is Ward? He's manipulated his son, who has this dark thing inside of him that makes him kind of psycho and kill and all that because he wants to, like, he wants to protect his dad and the dad's going, good job, buddy. You did a great thing. You got us half a bill. It's too the Two. Rafe. Rafe. Let's go, Rafe. Steve. This is big news. She's about to be hurt. I don't think that's gonna protect you much, Jumbi. Oh, the kids are the watch, the watchers to see when they where they are. No, no, get away from the car. Get away from the car. Oh, nice. This is the plan, because they did get away. Are you sure you're good, Rafe? Are you sure you don't know what is coming? Yes. Don't do anything stupid. Get up, easy. Let's see your papa. Get on your knees. On the ground. Come on! Put your hands up. Who are you? Kiss the ground. Who are you? I'm the Royal Commission for the Redistribution of Wealth. Kiss the ground. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's gonna see. He's gonna see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 
John was gonna kill him. I thought they took out both armored vehicles though. That was an incredible episode. They really, I love that they did the miss, the, I guess they delayed the John B and Sarah are alive reaction for that heist. And I really, really liked that they did it in that point. Him finding over, over the phone would have felt really disjointed. And obviously he would have just known about John B and not Sarah. Whereas kind of them getting away and then doing the whole heist situation. That whole thing was so cool. Um, really, really loved it. Um, it allowed them to expose that John and Sarah are alive in almost a really cool way. You know, the fact that they go in and get the gold, Ray, uh, Ward kind of turns around and looks and he sees and he flips out. But then that whole situation then leads to kind of a gunfight almost. And not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure Rafe made that shot, right? Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure John never pulled the trigger, but Rafe did. And it was like in the scuffle and somehow the gunshot has got all the way to Sarah. And then we, we literally see the relief on John B's face. He's like, Sarah, Sarah, we got the gold. And then she's like, I've been shot. Oh, I knew that they were going to leave us with a cliffhanger because I feel like they did that at the end of every episode in season one. And it's what makes a show so binge worthy, especially when you drop like 10 episodes in one, leaving the end of each episode with a cliffhanger literally just makes you click to the next episode. And they did that again. The other side of this episode that I really loved was the key John, uh, sorry, the key JJ and Pope side of the story. And for me, it feels very weird to have these two separate storylines going on right now and I just can't wait for the moment that they all are re reunited because I'm missing that John B element in this group. But we we'll get to that. I'm sure it's going to happen. Um, they wouldn't leave them apart for so long. But I guess filming for COVID too, having two separate distinct storylines where not many characters have to cross over for the most part, like at the beginning, that would have been really helpful too, right? And I noticed a, a few shows have done that, even though I don't think Outer Banks was compromised by COVID in terms of writing, um, maybe filming, but this really benefited. I think they would have done this with the story anyway. Um, but anyway, you've got the three of them trying to prove John's innocence and they actually, there's so many hills and like hills and depth, like drops with this. The fact that they have um, they had the, the film and they lost it like that was the hope and then the crash and then their next hope was getting the gun and they got the gun they got the gun and they took it to him the, the sc scope scoop the cop guy and I think he believes them but I think the reason he is not openly doing things is because he knows Ward has his connections in that sheriff station and he learned from Peterkin, you need to kind of play under the radar to get these guys out. And he knows that the stakes are quite high because Peterkin got too involved, too trying to protect John B and ended up getting killed by it. So I think he's playing a safe game right now, but it's very interesting. There is never a side that clearly is winning. Like we've got the gold, but Sarah's shot. They've lost the gold. But at the moment, they're still safe. Like, it's very interesting. Loving it. 
so, so, so invested. I can't wait to see how they're going to get Sarah okay. I don't see Sarah dying. Like, I, I think if they killed her, that would be such a heartbreaking thing. I think it's just going to be one of those things where they're leaving us with that gunshot. She's in danger. He may have to sacrifice part of the gold to kind of protect her. Or he's going to have to choose, like... <sighs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to leave a comment down below your thoughts of the episode. Remember, no spoilers on the future episodes. Um, make sure to click subscribe every day. I itch closer and closer to 10K, so you should be a part of that. Come on, join the couch club. Um, but apart from that, I think that is all I've got. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.